In this work, we introduce multiplicative compositional policies, a method for learning reusable motor primitives that can be composed to produce a flexible range of skills. Standard hierarchical policies compose primitive skills by using a gating function, which specifies the probability of activating each primitive in a given scenario. One of the limitations of this model is that only one primitive can be activated at each time step, which can restrict the range of behaviors that can be produced by the composite policy. We propose combining primitives using a multiplicative composition scheme, which enables multiple primitives to be activated simultaneously and contribute to the composite policy's action distribution. The weights from the gating function specify each primitive's influence on the composite distribution, with the higher weight corresponding to a larger influence. Given a state, each primitive proposes an action distribution in response to that state. The gating function receives both the state and a task-specific goal as input, then outputs the weights for each primitive. The distributions are then composed according to the weights to produce the composite action distribution. Each primitive's action distribution is modeled by a Gaussian. Varying the weights produces different interpolations of the primitive's distributions. Primitives are learned through pre-training tasks that encourage the primitives to specialize in different skills. When transferring the primitives to new tasks, a new gating function is trained to compose the primitives for the new task. The primitives are trained by imitating reference motions, such as mocap clips recorded from human actors. The plots visualize the behaviors of the different primitives. The blue plot shows the weights for the primitives. The green plots show the actions proposed by each primitive. The orange plot shows the action produced by composing the primitives. We can also learn primitives for controlling a complex T-Rex character with 55 degrees of freedom. Once trained, the primitives can be transferred to challenging new tasks, such as picking up an object and carrying it to a target location. We can also train characters to dribble a soccer ball to a goal. We compare MCP to a number of prior methods. Training from scratch tends to produce unnatural behaviors. MCP produces more natural motions. Models that activate only a single primitive at a time can struggle with more complex tasks. MCP outperforms prior methods on a number of challenging tasks.
To analyze the specialization of the primitives, we record the actions proposed by each primitive over the course of a walk cycle, then replay the actions on the simulated characters on the right. The graphs show the activations of the primitives over time. The primitives learn to specialize in different phases of a walk cycle. Primitive 1 is most active during left stance and less active during right stance, while primitive 2 exhibits the opposite behavior, becoming most active during right stance. Other primitives also exhibit distinct behaviors. More details are available in the paper. Thanks for watching.